Now to a major decision that could have a huge impact on the food we eat. Politico is reporting as soon as this week, the FDA will announce a ban on almost all trans fats, which are found in many packaged foods, baked goods, and fried foods. Two years ago, the FDA says partially hydrogenated oils, the main source of trans fat in processed food, increased the risk of heart disease and that cutting them out could prevent 20,000 heart attacks and 7,000 deaths from heart disease each and every year. And joining me now, Lisa Young, nutritionist and adjunct professor in the Department of Nutrition, Food Studies, and Public Health at NYU. Professor, thank you so much for your time. Great to be here. First off, let's talk about this is not a done deal, but all indications or all arrows point to the fact that the FDA, FDA is prepared to make this big step. Yeah, because there is conclusive evidence that it definitely could increase the risk of heart disease, early death, and it's not found, trans fats are not found in healthy foods, so there's no redeeming qualities to these fats. So if this decision does go down, this potentially affects every person because trans fats in everything we eat, in the yes. most unassuming things. Yes, baked goods, pastries, you know, all sorts of things, and you don't necessarily know that it's in there. And the purpose of the trans fats is really to extend the shelf life. So it's good for food industry. It sort of may, maybe helps with frying, but you might not necessarily know that the trans fats are there so taking them out is good because who would rather have a longer shelf life, you or the food? Yeah, and the food industry has pushed back on this. Um, they believe low levels of trans fats are safe. Industry leaders have uh, actually banded together, according to the political article, to craft a food additive petition. And they want to ask the FDA to allow partially hydrogenated oils in certain things like sprinkles on cupcakes, cookies and ice cream. Why would it even be needed in those items? Stabilizers, thickeners, you know, um, keeping the sprinkles, preventing the color from sort of coming off onto the ice cream, for example. But something like sprinkles, if it's tiny, tiny amounts, may not be a problem. And the food industry, I'm sure, will get two years or, you know, a normal amount of time to be able to push back. And when we had to take the trans fats out, they had to be listed on the food label mm -hmm. a couple, you know, 10 yeah, years ago, yeah. 20 years ago. The food industry did just fine. They mm -hmm. took them out of the foods. As I, um, I should mention, you appeared in Super Size Me, uh, which uh, another you know revolutionary moment when we looked at our foods and said, what are we really doing yes, here? Yes. With that said, combined with the debate of GMOs, uh, now this trans fat, um, are we now more aware and more willing to fight to have clean food, healthy foods in our bodies and that of our children? Absolutely, definitely. The Dietary Guideline Advisory Committee just gave a report to issue to the Dietary Guidelines that's now even talking about sustainability. We've never had that before. And back to this FDA decision, if it does happen, how significant do you believe this will be for? Huge, huge, because consumers don't know when they go out and buy, you know, apple pie or a cookie, they don't know that there's trans fats there. Well, knowledge is power, as they say, and we're seeing a lot of that flex on the behalf of the consumer. Lisa, thank you so much for your time. For My Mr. pleasure. It's great pleasure. Thank you. Come Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.